watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this model we are going to discuss that is answer the following or first question answer the following how many dimensions a solid has a solid will have three dimensions so three dimensions what are that as length breadth or width and height so for this only we are going to show let's take one solid this is length breadth height so cuboid next how many books are there in euclid's elements 13 books so what is that is the book's name is the elements the elements book's name is the elements next one write the number of faces of cube and cuboid so let's take here how many faces are so number of faces will be so here first front one face two three then back four then up five and down six so number of faces for cube and cuboid for this also let's take So cuboid is also what you can take it here is front one, then back two, side three, four, top five, down six. So these are the faces that one. So let's take number of faces will be equal to for cube and cuboid both same that is six. Then so what is the sum of interior angles of a triangle? So let's take here one angle. Let's take triangle ABC. So here A, B, C. So here what is the angle? See here. Then here what is the angle? B. So here sum of the angles will be equal to. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degrees. It may be anything. Sum of the all the interior angles will be equal to 180 degrees. Our next one is write three undefined terms of geometry. So, three undefined terms are the defined terms means which we are going to define with the using of some dimensions, some measurements, but some dimensions, some uh, geometrical elements which will not, which cannot be defined. So, what is that is point, next plane, next line. Line may be anything, line may be can come, length, breadth, width like that. Can you define anything? So, by using of these, we are going to define other terms. But we cannot define this point plane line like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Our second one is state whether the following statements are true or false. Also, give reasons for your answers. First one only one line can pass through a given point. So, let's take one point like this that telling that only one line can pass through the given point. So, let's draw like this and you can draw like this and here also so we can draw how many lines infinite number of lines infinite uncountable lines infinite number of lines that is what you can write for this is false first one is false our next one is all right angles are equal so let's take angles here. This is right angle. So what is this? Right angle. Then what is this? Is also right angle. So this is right angle. All the right angles are equal. Yes, these are all. All equal parts will be equal. So that is same. Then it is true. What is this? True. All the right angles are equal. Yes, here equal. Circles with same radii are equal. The same parts, let's take this is the radius and this is the radius. So here are R. So circle with same radii are equal. Yes, here also equal. What you can say? Angles are equal. Here radius is circle also with equal. That is also true. Next one. A line segment can be extended on its both on its both sides and list to get a stripe line. So let's take this is one line. 
this one we can extend in both the directions it can go then it will form a straight line yes this is true we can extend that is true next one from the figure ab is greater than so here it is the ab so this is point c this is ab so ab is greater than ac yes ab is nothing but what ac plus cb ac plus cb so ab is greater the whole part is greater than always part sub parts that is ac so the whole part ab is whole part is always greater than the sub parts like that then it is yes it is true like this we need to solve thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers in this third question what we have to discuss is in the given figure below show that length ah is greater than so let's take what they are given that ah is greater than given we have to prove so ah is greater than ab plus bc plus cd so you can take it this one as rtp so what is rtp is right to prove right to prove so let's take rtp is this one then what is that proof is you can write like this also proof what is that is here is so let's take what is ab right right side and let's take ah ah is total parts that is total length total parts and ab plus bc plus cd so ab plus bc plus cd what is that so you can take ad will be equal to ab plus bc plus cd ab plus bc plus cd so ad is greater than a ab and ad is greater than bc and so bc ad is greater than cd what you can say here is what you can say here is the whole part the whole is always always greater than always greater than the greater than the remaining parts r is greater than the parts that means what you can say here is so let's take take this one so let's take ad ah will be equal to ah will be equal to ab plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef plus ft plus gh so what is this three parts that is ad ad plus de plus ef plus fg plus gh so what is this is ah now ah is greater than ad according to this ah is greater than ad that means therefore what you can take here is ah is greater than ab plus bc plus cd like this we need to solve thanks for watching please subscribe so in this module we are going to discuss fourth one that is if a point q lies between the two points let's take this is the points p and q so let's take this is the point these are the points next so these are the points let's take the point p and r q lies between that so q lies between that such that what they are given is q lies between two points p and r p and r such that pq will be equal to qr pq will be equal to qr then what is rtp right to prove so pq will be equal to half of the pr so pq will be equal to half of the pr that one we have to show so here pq let's take here pq will be equal to qr you have written and pr will be equal to let's take whole part whole will be equal to pr then what are the parts the parts will be equal to pq so this is one part and qr another part qr that pq will be equal to qr they are given whole is always greater than the that or whole is equals to sum of the parts
whole is sum of the parts the whole is sum of the remaining parts so pr will be equal to pq plus qr pq plus qr then what you can say here is pr will be equal to pq in the qr place you can substitute pq that is pr will be equal to pr or rp will be equal to 2pq 2pq then pq will be equal to let's take pq will be equal to 1 by 2 pr we can show like this therefore we are shown like that or you can do another method what is that is pr will be equal to so let's take here pr pr will be equal to pq plus qr that means pq in the place of pq we can substitute qr also that is pr then 2 qr will be equal to pr then qr will be equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 pr like this also we can do thanks for watching please subscribe